multiplying and dividing monomials. A monomial can be written as a number, a variable, or a product of numbers and variables. So, some examples of monomials are x, a variable, 14x, the product of 14 and x, 3, a number, 2x squared, 9xy, all examples of monomials. Not monomials, x to the negative 2 power, 5x minus y, 8 over m, 8 p to the negative 17th power. Look at these examples of non-monomials versus what is a monomial. It should be perfectly clear what is and what is not a monomial. Let's look at some examples of multiplying monomials. If I have 2x cubed times 5x squared, the first thing I do is I apply the commutative property to put my constants and then my variable terms in order. I have 2 times 5 times x cubed times x squared. 2 times 5 is 10. x cubed times x squared is x to the 3 plus 2. Remember, multiplying like bases to some power, I add the exponents. And that's equal to 10 times x to the 5th power or 10x to the 5th. You gotta love the commutative property. It really helps you out in these circumstances. Let's do it again. Okay, 8m to the fifth n cubed times 4m squared n to the negative eighth power. Now notice, I have constants eight and four. I have terms that have m as the base and terms n as the base. So again, I'm gonna use the commutative property to reorder those terms, so I get 8 times 4 times m to the 5th times m squared times n cubed times n to the 8th. See how I applied the commutative property there. 8 times 4 is 32. m to the 5th times m squared is m to the 5 plus 7. Sorry, m to the 5 plus 2. And then n cubed times n to the negative 8 is n to the 3 plus negative 8 applying those exponent rules in both of those steps. Okay, so that's 32 m to the seventh, that's m to the five plus two, n to the negative fifth, that's n to the three plus negative eight. So here I have 32 times m to the seventh times n to the negative fifth, but I have to take care of that negative exponent because a monomial is not simplified if an exponent is negative. So n to the negative 5 is 1 over n to the positive 5. And now when we multiply everything together, the numerator becomes 32m to the 7th. The denominator is n to the 5th. Okay, now let's do some division. Okay, so let's divide 12x to the 7th by 2x cubed. And again, I'm going to use the commutative, I'm not going to use the commutative property, but I'm going to break this up, because I'm keeping the same order, you'll notice, into constants 12 over 2 and like bases, x to the 7th over x cubed. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, x to the 7th divided by x cubed is x to the 7 minus 3, and that results in 6 times x to the 4th, or 6x to the 4th. Now remember, if you're still not quite comfortable with your exponent rules, you can always expand and simplify that way. Because if you do that often enough, the rules will become more understandable. Okay? But I'm going to show you just using my exponent rules now. Okay, let's look at another. 8x to the 5th, y to the 4th, divided by 6x to the 7th, y to the 4th. So again, I'm going to split up those fractions. 8 divided by 6, x to the 5th divided by x to the 7th, y to the 4th divided by y to the 4th. Why did I split it up that way? Again, constants, same bases, same bases. Okay, so 8 divided by 6 is the same as 4 divided by 3. I like my fractions in proper, so I keep it 4 thirds. x to the 5 minus 7 times, of course, y to the 4th divided by y to the 4th is 1. So that results in 4 thirds times x to the negative 2. 5 minus 7 is negative 2. And again, I don't want a negative exponent. 
x to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over x to the second power. So that's 4 thirds times 1 over x to the second power, or 4 over 3x squared. Totally simplified. Okay, let's look at some simplifying here. Okay, xy to the 13th power, remember, everything in the parentheses is to the 13th power. So that's the same as x to the 13th times y to the 13th, or xy to the 13th. 2x all to the 5th power is the same as 2 to the 5th power times x to the 5th power, or 2 to the 5th, x to the 5th. And then one more. Negative 4m n to the 5th all raised to the 3rd power, again, is the same as negative 4 to the 3rd power times m to the 3rd power times n to the 5th raised to the 3rd power, just as I wrote it out here. Negative 4 to the 3rd power, I'm just going to leave that as negative 4 to the 3rd power right now. m cubed is m cubed, and n to the 5 my, times 3, because this is a power to a power, we multiply those exponents, and that's negative 4 all to the 3rd power still, m cubed still, and this is n to the 15th. So now, negative 4 all to the 3rd power is the same as negative 4 cubed, so I'm going to go ahead and simplify it that way m cubed n to the 15th. So there's our simplified form.